Guys, I cannot overstate the importance of this match here tonight. Of course not, Michael. Anytime the tag titles are on the line, the match takes on a whole new level of importance. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 472 pounds, Channing Lorenzo and Tony D'Angelo, the D. And their opponents at a combined weight of 487 pounds. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Darren Green and Solo Sikoa, the Bloodline. And it's time for a good old fashioned tag team title match. Here we go, all set to see the D'Angelo family firm tighten their grip on the WWE Tag Team Division. Yeah, Cole, but the harder you grip, the easier it is for things to slip through your fingers. There are a lot of teams hoping to knock Tony D and Stax off their game and take control for themselves. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and family needs to be as much bite as they are bark. I expect we'll see all the bite they have to give here tonight. And if you're a team that wants to learn how to work as one, this should be a match to study. This is a match to take notes on. As a team, you always have to be on the same page, but in this one, you can expect to see teams on the same sentence. Sidewalk slam! And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. Almost drove him through the ring. Clothesline. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Sokoa prevents that from connecting. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Fought off with an elbow. And what a burning Larry. He is looking to do some serious harm. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Boom! And it looks like he might have just caught Tony Dean napping. Sokoa clearly taking out his preternaturally bad mood on the competition. Close line in the corner! And Sokoa gets warded off. Cinching in a waist lock, but 
Right hands from the opposition. Spinning heel kick. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Tag made. Tag made. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxony. You might get caught. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. You just feel like this match may be about to reach its finish. Feel like we're about to see a car crash. Avalanche, Samoa drop. That's a walk off. It's going to take a certain kind of willpower to keep going after being taken down like that. And he gets the tag. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. Nice suplex. This is not going to end well. Nice suplex. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Good defense. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Up and down into the protoplex. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. What a good Watch. measure. Tag switching it up. Tags him in. Green heel kick. Speed kills, and no one knows that better than the champion. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Solo reverses and looks to capitalize. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. That's you in your head. Sakoa is showing plenty of intensity here. Stax needs to find that spark. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. And Sokoa needed that badly. Yeah, Sokoa getting some newly determined focus. Sokoa, the spinning solo by Sokoa. the dream work in this tag team victory. Two minds working as one in the ring to create magic. It is a beautiful thing to witness, gentlemen.